Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shadow here. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we are going to be setting out to upcycle four light fittings and lamps that I've managed to get from Facebook Marketplace. If you know me or you follow me over on my Instagram, you will know that I love Facebook Marketplace. That place is amazing for getting some absolute gems for free sometimes or for an absolute steal. I'm gonna do a home tour in the future because I was looking around the other day and I was like, a lot of my stuff is from Facebook or from like charity shops, secondhand shops that I have kind of upcycled and given a new lease of life. So that is what I'm gonna be showing you in today's video is how to take things and make them your own style on a budget. So today I've got four projects that I'm going to show you, each of them are light fittings because for some reason I've just managed to pick up a load of bargain light fittings from Facebook Marketplace. Before we get into this video please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to me. 80% of you watch me but don't subscribe for some reason so please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos, it really helps me out as well. But anyway, let's get into project number one. Sorry I didn't manage to get a better before of this, but as you can see, it's got some bronze metal hardware, which I wanted to turn black just to fit the decor of my living room a little bit better. I picked this up for £10 and it's originally from Next and it goes for £120 new. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. So I just ended up taping off all of the pieces I didn't want to spray paint and I wasn't able to take the lampshade off. As you can see, it's kind of all ingrained within itself. So I just put some plastic bags around it and made sure that it was a tight seal. Next up, I took it out to the garden and I'm just showing you here, you'll get a better feel for it. It was kind of like a bronzy colour, which I really liked and it was perfect condition, but I just wanted to spray it. I went in with a plastic coat satin spray paint in black and I just gave it a couple of layers of the black spray paint. I did this using short bursts of the spray paint rather than going at it in one go to give it a kind of opaque layer. Instead, I went back a couple of times and I filled in any spots that I missed out. It only takes 40 minutes to touch dry, but I left it overnight to make sure that it dried entirely. The next day, I took off the masking tape that I'd used to seal any of the electrics and the linen shade and the wires that I didn't want to spray paint. I was really impressed with how it guarded all of those areas and it was pretty perfect. We hung it up and then this is how it looked in the living room. Okay, project number two. These were some light shades that I managed to pick up for free. As you can see, there were this terracotta colour, which I know some people would actually like, but again, don't really have that colour in my house and I wanted to change them up to be a kind of like concrete style. So I went in with the Rustoleum Stone textured spray paint in the colour Bleached Stone. This was, it was pretty easy to use, but I thought it was gonna have more of a color payoff. It didn't give me the exact finish that I wanted. It ended up being quite blotchy, so I just used it for exactly what it was for, and that was for texture. As you can see here, there is some blotchiness, so I decided to go in with some acrylic paint. I just put that onto a dense paintbrush, and I just stippled that on. The stippling action helped me create the concrete effect that I wanted. Rather than spreading it, I just went in with some black, mixed the two colours together, stippled it on until I got the effect that I wanted. The good thing about this is that acrylic takes a little while to dry, so you can actually go in with as much light or dark paint as you need to give the colour payoff that you want. This is how it looked after the first layer. I really liked it, but I just wanted to make sure that it gave the exact color that I wanted. So I went in with a second color, which I think really gave the concrete effect that I was looking for. This was it when it was all finished and you can see the difference between the one that I'd done on the left compared to the one that I hadn't yet done on the right. Once I'd done both of them, I just added a light shade to it. I think they fit perfectly in the living room. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, project number three. This is another one that I picked up for a lot less than it is in store. So I picked this up for, I think, £10 again. I think they sell for around £80 plus pounds in Next. So I just started off by taking off all of the lampshades and anything that I didn't need, taped off all the electrics, and then I just went in and spray painted it again with that Plasticoat satin black colour. I must admit, I was quite impatient with this. I wanted it all done in one go, so I sprayed way too much rather than doing it in short bursts, which created a drip like effect on some areas which you can't see unless you get close up but I would suggest just taking your time doing it in short bursts and doing it in layers added all the shades back on and once that was finished we fitted it to our bedroom and we have got a lovely new pendant light in the bedroom. Okay, onto the final project, project number four. Now, I've just come on here to say I took inspiration from a lovely lady over on Instagram. Her name is Victoria, and she goes by the Instagram handle, The Tracelick Home, I think. She did this upcycle with some lamps from Ikea, so it means you can go out and grab those if you wanna do the same thing. I just happened to find some on Facebook Marketplace for slightly cheaper, and I loved the effect that they give. So I started off with these standing lamps. As you can see, they were a little bit rusty, but it was okay because we were going to spray paint them. Started off with some sugar soap just to remove any grease and dirt from them. And I managed to pick both of these up from a lady who was chucking them out for, I think, 18 quid. I actually got four for the price of 18 pounds, which I thought was an absolute steal. As you can see, I'm going in with the plastic coat metal spray paint. Now, I did not like this spray paint. I ended up using it as the base, and then I went in with another layer on top with the original spray paint that I used. This had a very sticky, feeling to it it took ages to dry I just didn't get on with it at all and as you can see I am being silly and I'm spraying in quite a high wind so it's going everywhere I would suggest guys do this in a well ventilated area but a place that doesn't have wind uh, because it's quite difficult to go against the wind when you're spray painting Once the whole thing was spray painted, I added some new light fittings that again I got from B&Q and voila, here is my new standing lamp. I have one in each corner of my dining room. They just add such a nice look and feel to the room and such an easy upcycle. Okay lovelies, I hope that you enjoyed that video. It was so easy to do. I love these sort of upcycles and DIYs because anyone can do them. All you need is a spray can of paint. I would suggest going in with the Rossonium spray paints or the plastic coat spray paints, but I didn't like that metal one, as I said. So go for the more like satin all purpose or matte all purpose spray paints. That's what I usually go for. But yes, in total, I managed to get two light fittings and two new sets of lamps, which in total came to, uh, it's really bad maths. Uh, 43 pounds I think which is an absolute steal like you saw those light fittings they're proper light fittings but yeah if you want to get involved and do some DIY and upcycling then head over to Facebook marketplace in your area honestly you will not regret it you do have to keep an eye on there if you want anything good for a lot of these things I managed to pick them up within like half an hour of them being listed because usually all the good stuff goes like that but there are always gems there that you just need a vision for and some spray paint but yes that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought about them in the comment section below I will link everything that I used in the description box i will see you in the next video guys thanks so much for watching take care bye all could do with an ice cream